Well, it's widely known that Brazil is one of the world's biggest oil producers, but in terms of alternative energy sources, especially ethanol, it's in fact the largest. The sugarcane-derived fuel has been used in Brazilian cars for decades, and thanks to its ethanol industry experience, Brazil may now become a major player in aviation biokerosene. CCTV's Paulo Cabral has more. Using sugarcane to produce biofuel is nothing new in Brazil. In the 1970s, the country was a pioneer in using ethanol to fuel most of its cars. Now, some Brazilians are aiming for the sky and filling the tanks of airplanes. Brazilian carrier Go Airlines was among the first to use a fuel blend that includes 10% of sugarcane-based biokerosene. The new fuel is not yet used regularly, but the company has made a number of experimental flights and plans to carry on with the trials. Brazilian plane maker Embraer produces the Ipanema, a small agriculture plane powered by pure ethanol. But the Ipanema is an exception. The idea is not to create airplanes that can fly on different fuels, but instead to develop biofuels that can be used in the exact same engines that now fly using petroleum-based aviation fuels. The head of biofuels research at Embraer says Brazil is in a good position to develop an aviation biofuel industry and that larger scale production will help reduce prices in the future. We believe that uh, in the future, and this future is not so, uh, so near, but we understand that we are talking about five to ten years, we can have a new industry for uh, biofuels for aviation in Brazil. Today is, is a little bit more expensive. It, it, we don't have a specific price, but some information gives us two or three times more. But uh, we understand that in the near future, from near to mid to mid future, we have a price very competitive because it's a new industry. The development of aviation biofuels could hold important changes for the airline industry. In the long term, it may help reduce dependence on oil and even lower operational costs. But for now, the main goal is to cut down greenhouse gas emissions. Airlines have committed to cut their carbon emissions in half by 2050. And many believe biofuels will play a key role in achieving this. An ambitious target, but a very popular one. Passengers we spoke with say they would like to fly greener. Anything we can do in favor of the environment in the short or long term is important. With biofuels, we can use less fossil fuel that will run out sometime and is already getting more expensive. I think that is the way to go, really. Of course, it has to be commercially viable, but it's the best option. I think this is good for the airline's image because it strengthens their environmental responsibility. No one expects that aviation will be able to give up fossil fuels completely in the near future. But adding greener options to the mix could benefit the industry and the environment at the same time. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.